In China, primary level facilities include county level hospitals, township health centers, and village clinics. By the end of 2021, there were 23,000 county level medical institutions, 35,000 township hospitals, and 599,000 village clinics across the country. And official data shows that the medical consultation rate of residents in counties exceeds 90%. In the COVID fight, grassroots health workers and institutions have played vital roles in providing timely, convenient, and tiered medical services in rural areas. Nationwide, Tier 3 hospitals in urban areas have been directed to establish 24-hour telemedicine service connections with county hospitals. An official plan has been implemented which directs township hospitals and village clinics to reserve symptomatic treatment drugs such as antipyrectic and cough suppressants and antigen detection kits according to 15 to 20 percent of the population served. At the moment, around 98 percent of township health centers and community health service centers in the country have open fever clinics. The number of township fever clinics account for more than 60 percent of the total. Online medical service and roving medical teams have also ramped up rural medical capacity and online e-commerce platforms are facilitating patient access to medication. In the 11 provinces and cities participating in the operation, 6.6 .6 million orders of various drugs have been delivered, serving nearly 2 million patients. 80 percent were in rural areas. China has also called on medical institutions in rural areas to establish a green channel or mobile vaccination vehicles to facilitate vaccination for the elderly. There is no doubt that rural areas in China have fewer medical resources than their urban counterparts. But that disadvantage is being compensated for by social mobilization, help from cities, e-Medicare and mobile services.